and I pleaded, you know, you know, don't go, don't do that. A mother's agonizing plea to her son just before he lost his battle with addiction. Kelly Coker has seen the opioid crisis firsthand, and now she's giving the entire world a glimpse of how it tears families apart. She posted a series of videos on Facebook, and we're going to warn you here, they're, they're not pretty, they're raw, and they are painful to watch. But ABC6's Maria Durant takes you through them. Hi, I love you. I love you. We'll make you feel better. It's a heartbreaking post on social media. Come on, Joel, wake up. The tragic reality of what can happen after an overdose. Come on, buddy, keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open, buddy. I love you. It's a painful moment for Kelly Coker, but one she believes is important to share. This is real stuff. This is what really happens. <sighs> this is her son just two months ago. And he overdosed three times in one week. 33-year-old Joel Liston got his first taste of opioids in high school. It was after a motorcycle accident. Since then, he had been in and out of rehab. I kept telling him, you know, you're the only one that can do it. You're the only one that can make it go the other way again. Hey, Joel. In hopes of getting him to stop, Kelly recorded one of her son's hard-fought battles with drugs. I said, I want you to see what you're doing to yourself. You need to see that. Ah. Joel, get up. She hoped this video would be a wake-up call, what he needed to get his addiction under control. Unfortunately, Joel never saw it. Just a week after this, he overdosed again, and this time he never recovered. And I pleaded, you know, you know, don't go, don't do that. Now the personal and painful last few moments of her son's life are on Facebook. I think people need to see that. Made public because she hopes this will keep others from following her son's torturous path. Uh -huh. I'm hoping that it's going to put an image in somebody's head and be like, I don't want to be there. I don't want to be like that. I don't want that to happen to me. Come on, buddy. It's a mother's plea in the last moments of her child's life. I took a picture of his last heartbeat and gave him a kiss on his cheek. And I said, you know, I said, I gave you your first kiss when you were born. And I'm going to give you your last kiss when you leave. Her love now shared with others battling this opioid crisis. And Kelly tells me that after she posted, you know, these pictures and video, the support has been overwhelmingly positive, and this was very, very tough for her to do. But again, she wanted people to see that this isn't a movie. This is what happens if you continue on that path of addiction. And she's still grieving. She just lost him. How two, long ago? Two months ago. Two months He's 33 ago. years old and has been battling it, as you heard there, you know, since he was in high school. So she talked a lot about wanting to put an image in the viewer's head that I don't want to go there. But it's important that the, the viewer also look at this and goes, I don't want to do that, not only to myself, I don't want to do this to my parents because it is so devastating for families and they're left behind afterward. Right. She's hoping that this image, even before someone starts, yes. you know, yes. even, you know, tasting it or just trying it, they see this image and say, you know, that's not something that I want to do. I don't want to be in that same situation. Give it as wide a berth as possible. Absolutely. Well, thank Such goodness for her strength. Such an important message. Yeah. It certainly is. Thanks so much, Maria. A new developments tonight.